Do you want to take your game to the next level and go from this to this? Then you've come to the right channel. Today, we're diving into the current White Hive meta and covering the secrets to building the ultimate honey-making hive. And let me tell you, I'm the right person to listen as I recently hit 100 quadrillion honey as a white hive and I'm in the top 10 all-time honeymaker leaderboard. Quickly, before we start, I want to say that it's important to note that building a white hive is a significant investment, both in terms of time and resources. But, that might not be worth it for everyone. White hives rely on gummy stars to make honey, which only collects goo. To maximize your goo collection during the boost you will need to have 6 helpers using gumdrops for a whole boost, which can become expensive very quickly. You also need a fuzzy hive to pollinate the field, otherwise you'll be stuck with double flowers which makes you miss out on a 5x pollen buff that you would gain from star flowers. Now that you're sure you want to switch to a white hive, let's talk about hive composition. White hives focus on boosting white pollen collection. To start up with mythic bees, you'll need vector bees and precise bees. The legendary bees you'll need are, music bee, lion bee, carpenter bee, and five baby love producers, so gifted tadpoles for baby bees. Your epic bees are going to be, commander bee, honey bee, shock bee, and demo bee. Lastly for your rare bees, you'll want looker bee, hasty bee, brave bee, stubborn bee, and basic bee. Ending with event bees, you will need bear bee, gummy bee, photon bee, tabby bee, windy bee, digital bee, and puppy bee. Here's an image and a list of what your hive should be looking like with these bees. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about why we're using certain bees, the reasons why will be put in the description. You can also ask a question in the comments. Now that your hive composition is set, let's move on to beequips. The right beequips can significantly enhance your hive's performance. As your beequip case may vary, I will list the beequips in order of must-have to the least useful. There are 6 beequips you must use to make your hive work whether you have bonus stats or not, those beequips are the sweatband, the toy horn, the kazoo, the whistle and 2 toy drums. The sweatband is to make the digital be more powerful with its gather amount and the other beequips are for their token abilities. If you want these beequips to be even more powerful, you can get the ability pollen on your toy drums and toy horns, get critical power and super crit power on your kazoo and for the whistle, having a melody ability on top of the guaranteed speed ability. For the rest of the beequips I will list, if they don't have the specific statistic I'm going to say, it's not going to be worth using it and you should probably use another one on the list. They are also going to be listed in order from best to worst. To start, there's the pink shades with super crit power or super crit chance, the reindeer's antlers with the baby love ability, the charm bracelet with the melody ability, snow tiara with honey from tokens, paper angels with the ability pollen, paper clips with the ability pollen, bees mass tops with more than 6 critical power, peppermint antennas with more than 4 B ability rate and smiley stickers with marked duration. Now, if you were to have every perfect beequips in the game, which I doubt, your hive you be looking like this. Here's also a list of every beequips in order. Now, mutations. They can significantly boost your bees' abilities. The recommended mutation for your whole hive is going to be bee move speed for all of your bees except for digital bee that will benefit more from bee gather amount percentage. The easiest way to get bee move speed mutations is going to be rolling ungifted bees with mutations and gifted with fruits or star treats afterwards. For regular bees that isn't going to be very expensive, but for mythic bees it can cost around 600 trillion honey per bee, so you should only do it when you don't have anything else to do with your honey. With your bitter berries you should focus on getting mutations on your event bees as they can't be rolled with royal jellies. So now, this is what a perfect hive would look like. Finally, let's talk about amulets. The right amulets can make a huge difference in your white hive's performance. The king beetle amulet with plus 1 bee attack. The supreme star amulet with passive gummy star, star saw, white pollen, pollen, bee ability rate, critical chance and pollen from bees. The ant amulet with bee attack, critical chance, critical power and white pollen. The moon amulet with white pollen and bee gather pollen. The shell amulet with goo, goo conversion, honey from tokens and spider pollen. The stick bug amulet with bee attack, red bee attack, regular pollen or white pollen and honey from tokens. The cog amulet with percentage bee attack, pollen or white pollen, markability pollen, honey from tokens and instant white conversion. By following this guide and carefully selecting your bees, beequips, mutations, amulets, and nectars, you'll be well on your way to building the ultimate white hive in bee swarm simulator.